Okay, so you're a teacher and you have students. All types of students. The overachiever, the daydreamer, the quiet one, the social butterflies, and the underachiever. I thought I aced that exam. I don't know what happened. Miss Jaffe, I didn't know Polly and I were going to be on the test. What? Man, I hate this class. It can all be very frustrating. But through the use of classroom response systems, you can add a little fun while encouraging student participation and assessing students' knowledge. You may have heard of classroom response systems, or clickers. These are devices that collect real-time input from your audience through electronic response pads. You probably already have a classroom response system in your school. Instructors use these devices to facilitate class discussion, encourage peer collaboration, perform formative assessments, take attendance, and even administer informal quizzes and exams. Students self-assess while remaining anonymous, and you, the teacher, get to see what concepts you may have to revisit. It was pretty easy to use. Uh, you just turn it on and it would automatically communicate with the computer. And when we were taking quizzes or tests, you just enter the questions, uh, the answers to the questions. And if you made a mistake or you wanted to change a question, you just had to go back through. The teacher could immediately show us feedback as to how the class did, the distribution, and we could even go over questions that most of the class missed. A lot of times, you know, I would leave after a test or a quiz and you know wonder how I did. I felt pretty good but did I actually do well? You know it's a whole difference and uh, we could immediately do that and I, I thought that was great because you know um, you didn't have to wait for it. Classroom response technology can be costly and you may not have access at your school but there are cost-effective alternatives that allow you to create interactive lessons that will engage your students. For example, Microsoft offers a free add-on to PowerPoint called Mouse Mischief. All you need to get started is a projector, a screen, a set of battery-operated wireless mice with USB receivers, a 2.0 USB hub with at least 10 USB ports, and a power strip. Let's walk through the Mouse Mischief setup. Plug in the AC adapter, Plug in the USB cable. Remove the snap and wireless receiver from each mouse and plug into the USB ports. Repeat until all mice have been connected. Insert the proper batteries into your mouse. Plug in the USB hub into the power strip. Plug in the USB hub into the USB port on your laptop or desktop computer. The number of ports you have will determine the number of wireless mice you can set up. Using Mouse Mischief, create your lesson in PowerPoint or download lessons from the Microsoft Office website. Make sure all wireless mice are working properly. The cost for wireless mice could run between $10 and $20 each. 10 port USB hubs could cost up to $15 each, but many computer stores offer discounts on book purchases or to educational institutions. The key is to shop around for the best prices. Some challenges I have with getting my students to participate um, in class, they, it's hard to keep their focus for a certain amount of period of time because they're very much into technology, so just basic voice and book and having them read and write it doesn't keep their attention too long, so I have to learn different, um, different
different ways to incorporate technology into my lesson. They text all day, so they're they're very used to using the, the clickers, buttons, texting to respond to something. And I can use it for my entire class at the same time, so it's not just one student um, who gets to participate. Everybody's participating, so everybody's actively learning and engaging in the lesson. Hey, Justin, don't put that cell phone away yet. But Miss Jackie, wait, what? That's right. You want to encourage your students to use their cell phones in class. Classroom response system devices may not be available, and the use of mouse mischief may not be practical, but there is yet another solution. Poll Everywhere is a web-based application that collects and records audience responses through mobile technology. It is free to use for educational purposes. Create poll questions and have your students text their responses, just like casting a vote on American Idol. You get instantaneous feedback right on your computer screen or smartphone. Go to polleverywhere.com to create a poll. You can create a multiple choice or free text poll. Type your questions and possible responses. Have your students text the numerical code of their responses to the number provided by Poll Everywhere or have them type text responses and watch the results in real time. And I get to look at whether a student or a group of students missed and what percentage missed a certain question. So I get to reteach based on the, the content that they missed almost and see the results instantaneously. Since students like typing on you know, text messaging, calling their friends, Googling and searching the internet, it helps out the students tremendously with engagement because now they get to use technology inside the classroom versus the old traditional way of teachers just talking to the whole classroom and taking the child down notes. It, it also helps performance based because now um, I don't have to wait a week for a student to get a test scores back. Um, now I can see whether students are understand, under, understanding the concepts as I teach versus waiting to grade the next quiz or, or next formative assessment. So it helps out tremendously when it comes down to understand, you know, how many students collectively are understanding the concept. So now you have the knowledge and tools to gain control of your project. Okay, class, let's have fun. Without boring your students in the process.